this thing right here is basically a Lamborghini. Don't look at me like that. Stay with me, okay? If we just ignore the Audi badge just for a second, it's what's inside that counts. So actually, this Audi RS Q8 gives you all the enjoyment of a Lamborghini Urus for less money. Let me explain. Like all car manufacturers, Lamborghini needs to make money. Lots of it. And unfortunately, just selling amazing supercars like the Huracan and the Aventador isn't enough. Of course, that's why they gave us the Urus SUV, which has sold by the bucket load with its hyper-aggressive styling and blistering performance. So, once you start peeling back the layers of bodywork on the Lamborghini Urus, what you find underneath is that the core engine and the platform is shared across many VW Group cars, like the Bentley Bentayga, the Porsche Cayenne Turbo, this, the Audi RS Q8. That's not a bad thing. I mean, essentially what Lamborghini have done is they found a cost-effective way of building an SUV rather than doing the whole thing from scratch. And it also means that when you drive something like this, you get that taste, that delicious taste of Lamborghini loveliness for a cheaper price. I say cheaper, this ain't cheap. In fact, I'll probably get in trouble for sitting up here. So I'm gonna get down. Yeah. Good. Yeah, the RSQ8 costs 108 grand, and that's a huge amount of money. But in the context of the 175,000 pound euros, it doesn't look like bad value. And it's obtainable to more punters who are in the market for a super SUV. So what exactly are you getting? I tell you what you get for your money, huge performance, huge. We've got a four litre twin turbo V8 engine, 592 brake horsepower, 800 newton metres of torque. So it's the same basic engine as a Lamborghini Urus. I mean, this has 49 brake horsepower less, but do you need any more power on normal roads? Not really. And I'll be honest with you, I have one at every set of traffic lights since I've had this car. Every set, I look at people and I go, do you really want to do this? And they agree to it. And I win every time. Why? Because this does Nord 62 <laughs> in 3.8 seconds. And oh, God, it just puts a smile on my face. <sighs> that is wonderful. Now, it's able to put all of that power down thanks to the Quattro four-wheel drive system. Now, of course, Yes, this has the same platform as the Lamborghini Urus, but like the chassis calibration and the suspension settings are different. So it doesn't feel exactly the same, but the overall driving impressions are, you know, same ballpark. And if you want proof that the RSQ8 is a serious weapon, just have a look at these lap times from when we put it up against the Aston Martin DBX. Whew, the Audi ran away with it, but even better yet, the RSQ8 is five seconds quicker around the Nürburgring than the Urus on which it's based. Mind boggling. This is a big, heavy car. So it's not gonna be described as agile or chuckable, etc. But you know what? For an SUV, it's not bad. There's a lot of chassis trickery going on to help contain the mass. So for example, this has adaptive sports air suspension. It's got active roll control. It's got all wheel steering. So it is surprisingly maneuverable. Honestly, it's not bad of sort of whipping it around and getting it into places and turning it, if that makes sense. You don't feel completely connected to the car at all times, but it's very capable. Look, I know I've been driving this in the fruitiest mode, but look, once you switch that off, it's a very refined drive on the motorway. It's lovely. I mean, I took this car away for the weekend. We did a long road trip over to the Cotswolds. It was gorgeous. I had a husband in the front, dogs in the back. We had a great time. Don't tell Audi I had the dogs in the back. It's fine because the dogs don't touch anything in the car. I've got like a hammock thing. It's fine, but, but they had a lovely time. The dogs were great. I was having a nice time. We had a lovely cruise. It was very refined, very nice. I mean, occasionally you'd hit a pothole, but I mean, that's the road's fault. That's not the car's fault. Might be the car's fault because we got 23 inch wheels, but no, it was very nice. Yeah. 
you see what I mean? There's definitely some Lambo magic there, but Audi also hasn't forgotten what it is best at. High-tech, beautifully built interiors. Let's have a poke around, shall we? Okay, this is my favourite bit. All RS models come with Racia, carbon fibre, Alcantara, and the moment that you sit in here, you can smell the class. <sighs> the quality in here. It's a bit nice, isn't it? I really, really like it. I'm not going to lie. You've got two screens over here. So you've got a 10.1 inch screen with the MMI infotainment setup. It's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all of those things. Then the one under here, this is an 8.6 inch screen. And it's got, what's it called? Capacitive. Capacitive. <laughs> There's the one word it just doesn't want to stick in my head. Capati capacitive. It's got capacitive touch. Essentially, it's a touch screen, but when you press the buttons, it makes a little click. There you go. It's just much easier to say than capacitive. It just doesn't want to come out. It just doesn't want to happen. Anyway, so when you press the buttons, you get a little satisfying click, which is quite nice. I do like that the climate controls are separate from the main screen. Because even though touchscreen bugs me, having it separate just makes it a little bit easier, I guess. I do want to point out that it has handwriting recognition. I'm right-handed, so having a right-hand drive car, I can't do it. Let me show you what I mean, right? So you click on radio, for example. Let's try and search for a radio station. Make sure the volume is down because of rights and that. Click on source and we're going to go search, right? So it should come up with an option. To search. So while I'm driving, say I'm going to look for Kistery because I love that radio station. <laughs> my my brain doesn't know like how to do a, a good K <laughs> while I'm driving. I'm fine now. I'm sat still. Kiss to read. There it is. It's just if you're left-handed and you're getting a right-hand drive, it's going to get a bit annoying or you just basically won't use it. You've got a virtual cockpit that can chop and change for anything you want to see. I mean, you, look, you've got details about the car. You can go full screen mapping. You can get your phone details up there. Love that. Brilliant. Oh, and a really good sound system for when you're listening to your radio station that you eventually found. Good stuff. So despite the Lambo rivaling performance, the RSQ8 is good at the sensible stuff too. There's plenty of head and legroom in the rear as well, despite the sloping roofline, and the boot is pretty massive at 605 litres. Now not everyone agrees with the concept of a performance SUV, but if that's what you want, then the RSQ8 is one of the best.